So let's talk friend and foe. Why is this an important book right now, and who should be reading it? I think friend and foe is an incredibly important work, and I'm totally unbiased. <laughs> In friend and foe, we talk about navigating our social relationships. And these are social relationships at work and at home with our friends, our spouses, our kids, our colleagues, and our bosses. That is, what we're looking at in this book is how we, we navigate these shifting sands where, for example, you can think about two colleagues at work. We have to collaborate to get a job done, but then we compete for a promotion or raise recognition for that project. And how we manage that competition will feed back into how we cooperate the next time. Mm. And rather than just competing with our colleagues or just cooperating with our colleagues, it's important to recognize that we do both and there are ways for us to navigate this more efficiently, more effectively, so that we can do better and our colleagues can do better rather than making, I think, some mistakes by over-competing or sometimes over-collaborating or collaborating in the wrong ways at the wrong times. So we can recognize opportunities to collaborate more wholly. And, and even when you th think about like siblings, when mm. we think about siblings, you know, brotherly love, these are our closest, best friends, but also sibling rivalry. And I think we have both of these inherent tensions. And you see some siblings, like the, the Williams sisters, so Serena and, mm. and Venus are magnificent at going back and forth. They're doubles, they compete against each other in singles, but at the end they give each other a nice hug. They, they're really tremendous at navigating that tension, yeah. and it's work. I think for most of us, it's harder work, and I think our book makes this more explicit. What's going on, where are we cooperating, where are we competing, how can we navigate this tension in a way that helps us make sure we preserve these relationships and actually develop them. And in some cases, we can pull competitors and bring them over to collaborators so we're working together to accomplish aims much more effectively. And, and ultimately, I really do think this book can help managers, it can help people that are starting off in their careers, and it can help people at home too.